Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another noob cast. This is Blomus. This is Tazernex, yes. The old faithful Tazernex bringing us a master's level. Master's level PVT. His opponent. I'm Ulris. Immolris. I am Olar. I am Oelris. I don't know, man. I am Ulris. I. I am. Oh, I don't know. Whatever, dude. This guy. <laughs> Blue Terran. What's up, Blue Terran? Yeah, man. Welcome to Newcast. To Zaranix. Dropped a game. It's been a little while since we've seen a game from Tazerenix. Uh Always a pleasure. Tazerenix is an Australian StarCraft player. Um, I don't know if he plays on NA though. Uh, so I don't. I'm pretty sure he's from Australia. I'm pretty sure he told me that's where he's from. Um, yeah, I could be completely wrong about that. Um, or maybe he's just from Australia but lives in the U.S. <laughs> I could be completely, completely off my rocker. Um, but I'm pretty sure that he's from Australia. Now I'm starting to scratch my head. Because I had that perfectly clear memory of where I first met Garoon. And now I'm like, I might be making shit up. <laughs> But hey, who cares? This is Noobcast. My memory's a noob, just like my StarCraft skill is noobish. Zaranix doing a straight up opening. Gate pylon, gateway pylon. Well, actually, it was gateway. It was pylon, gateway, gas pylon, cybercore. And Emolris gonna come in here and see everything that's going on. Not like you need to scout where your opponent is on this map. It is a two-player map. One of the uh, one of the last remaining maps that's been here from the beginning. The only map that hasn't been touched. Um, the only thing that's been done is on some like the MLG maps. GS uh, the MLG maps have added a neutral jammy jam down here at the bottom of the ramp supply depot uh, so that the ramps can't be walled off. Which is a strategy I haven't seen in ages. Um, Xeranix getting that double gas, so we're not going to see a four gate here. See what he's going to do against this Terran opponent. Um, perhaps a three gate robo, three gate expand. Um, risky to early expand here, especially against what looks like to be a one one oneing Terran player. And there's the one. No tech lab or anything going down in any of these buildings. We're going to see Hellion come out uh, for Emulris. Uh Finally, a reactor going down on. Wow. On the uh, barracks. I'm guessing what we're going to see is when the barracks, when the Starport's done. It's going to take the reactor. Tech Lab is going to stay on this. And we're going to see double medevacs come out for our Terran player. Oh no! Wow. Couldn't be more wrong. Look at that. Just going to get... <laughs> well, that was not normal. You have to admit. Not normal. Um, a raven. Holy crap. So interesting. Uh, Pylon going down here for warp ins for Tazerenix. And he is three gating. Uh, warp gate tech is just about done, so he's going to be opening up these warp gates. And he's got the double gas, he's got the expansion down, but he is, looks like he's going to attempt to apply some pressure down here at the ramp. The Raven will be coming out. Um, I don't know how much energy they have when they first come out, so. I don't know if you if you're able to drop a PDD right away, or that takes a little more time. I know you have turrets right away. 
Yeah, you need 100 energy, so and you come out with 50. Uh, there is, of course, an upgrade so that you can get more energy. Uh, energy of Ravens by 25. It's n not an automatic PDD, though. Um, getting defense, bunker, no, uh, no research on that factory as of yet. Curious if he's going to go for a blue flame or siege, considering what he has out here. Wow, look at this. Uh, nice force fields by Tazarinex. Uh Only one zealot out here, and if uh, auto turret gets dropped, then... Um, wow, yeah, there wasn't enough. Too many too many marines. Not enough zealots, I don't think. There wasn't enough zealots to tank there uh, by Tazarinex, And that was actually a loss for Tazarinex. He's going to have to get out of dodge. Um... And he's a little bit behind now. Not terribly behind, but he did expand behind his aggression, so... Uh, and he's got more harvesters, so he's going to be in pretty good shape going forward. Um, if we look at the units lost tab, however, he did lose more units. Uh, we can see right there. And uh, almost no loss on that attack. Just a couple marines from I'm Loris. I'm Olris. So look at this. We have Banshee... This, this composition is so mind-boggling. We got Banshee... Banshee, Tank, Marine, one Hellion, and a Raven. Um, I'm guessing he's hoping for that PDD, and he does now have 100 energy for it. A few SCVs out in the front going to be able to repair and tank. This is kind of looks like it's going to be an all-in-ish uh, attack here for I'm Lotus. Uh, looking to... Drop the bunkers down, force and sieging up. Gonna be forcing Tazarinix to come out. Um, warping in more zealots. That's what I, I definitely like to see the zealots. Gonna see some guardian shields go up. Um, nothing else being produced. No uh, mortar, or mortal or anything. But here comes the attack. Guardian shield goes up. Zealots taking down all kinds of things. PDD up. So the Banshee able to take down all kinds of uh, units here and the stalkers now running in zealots uh, oh, focusing on SCVs instead of the tanks and so and now running the tanks around run, the, uh, I'm Loris running the marines around while the zealots chase the marines instead of killing tanks and um, very very successful attack here for I'm Ulris. Um, oh, you know, it's an, I was going to say maybe it's a, uh, it's an anagram of Losira, but it's not. Uh, he does have vision from the top ground, of the high ground, and, um, very aggressive play from, uh, I'm Ulris. Try and come up the ramp, get a force field. Oh, no, he blocks off one marine, though. Uh, definitely needs some zealots here to tank. Turret going down. Immortal out, though. Turret gonna die. Uh, the uh, the Raven does finally go down, uh, but there is a tank out here still yet, doing good damage. But the Zealots are gonna take care of that along with the Immortal. And uh, I can't believe an Immortal three shots a Marine. That's so terrible. Um, this bunker finally gonna go down due to the Immortal, and the Marines inside will finally die. Zarenix able to finally push this aggression back, and uh, I'm always going to back it up and start to uh, break things off and, and go for a little bit more of a macro game. We check out the income here. Um, Amolris lost a lot of SCVs now, down to 19 to 32 harvesters, and so we can see Tazarinix, once he gets his base up and running, is going to be uh, in pretty good shape here, I think because Amolris um, took a lot of SCVs out there to that attack, didn't didn't get everything he wanted out of that attack. It was a very good attack. He was able to cancel, kill the expansion, uh, caused a lot of damage, check out the units lost. Units lost. Uh, Amolris still very much ahead in that department, uh, but I think we're going to see uh, I think we're going to see a switch. I think had 
and Mulris just turned around after that attack and still had the the Raven and the Banshee and those other Marines. And um, I think he would have. Um, I think he would have. He'd be in much much better shape than he is right now. That's for sure. Gonna get that orbital command right away before landing it on down on the low ground. More Banshees coming out. Another starport being made. And Mulra is saying good job to, to Xeranex for defending that aggression, which it was a good job. Um, he did a very good job, I thought. Sorry, I'm shaking up, my, shaking up my delicious iced tea here, make sure it's fully mixed. There, it's just going to be able to sit back, macro up. Um, he does have a huge supply lead now, um, but I, again, a lot of that does have to do with. Um, look at this worker supply, thirty-nine to twenty-four. So he's fifteen workers ahead. Uh, that doesn't quite account for all of the supply difference, but uh, a fair bit. Fifteen. The other twenty-five. <laughs> is army. Um, but look at that. 40 supply difference. And lag. Woo! Wow. I just did like the most unprofessional thing in the world and popped a chip in my mouth in the middle of a cast. Awesome. Way to go, man. I am, uh, it's one of those nights. My brain is half dead. Well, that's normal, I guess. So I guess it's probably like three quarters dead tonight. <laughs> Stalker's looking out for drops that aren't coming. Now he's got an observer out here, and he's and he's holding the corner with stalkers. Um, not a bad, not a bad idea. You want to be able to see it coming. I'm gonna break down these rocks. Gonna get his third up and running. Um. Slowly, Emolris slowly, and I do mean slowly, closing the gap with food here. Um, down from 40 to 25. Lots of Banshees out. Interesting. Um, but if you noticed, he's what he did in that attack earlier, used this to drop the point defense drone, and then the Banshees were able to do a lot of damage, killed some sentries. Um, very, very nice uh, strategy from Amolris. Amolris. And here he comes again. Uh, this time, just going out with a Viking. That's uh, six Banshees, a Viking, and a Raven. I'm not going to go to the third. I'm just going to go and see if they're, if he's at the gold. I'm going to keep on moving down to this natural. Banshees are going to go in first. Cloaked up Banshees. They're going to do all kinds of damage. There's no observer present. There are a couple on the field, though, so um, he's going to pull both of them in, and he's just got to get out of get out of the way while he can uh, make that happen. Um, landing that Viking, I don't like that idea at all. Point defense drone just doing it up here, but now it's out of energy, and now warping in more. Observer finally here. But once again, Emolar is taking down the Nexus. Another point defense drone going down, so these Stalkers have got to get out of dodge. But it too quickly runs out of energy. That's what happens when you have a lot of uh, Stalkers out. You gotta focus these guys. Um, and here's the Manor Mules from Emolaris. Um If I could change one thing about what, uh, I guess they're not matter, they're here to heal the Banshees. If I would just, if he had focused down, um, you know, if he had, if he was able to focus down those mules, yeah, Storm would have been better right there, uh, because they weren't, didn't have a ton of energy. But here come the Zealots, going to be able to clean this up really quick. Um, but there's no Stalkers, so these Banshees are still going to be able to have 
a field day as long as they want it. Here come more stalkers out. Uh, where's the observer? The raven must have seen it. Now oh, you can hit it again. You can kill it now. I'm trying to take out this nexus too. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's one shot on the... Wait. Oh, here comes the observers. I knew they were around here somewhere, but now these stalkers are so hurt, it doesn't even matter. And this many stalkers... Oh, more mules coming in to heal the banshees, and definitely enough to be taking out these stalkers. I'm curious if uh, Xerix is going to be able to stick it out here. Um, although, if you look at the food, it's pretty even right now. Pretty even right now. Tazarenix is only mining off of one base. And now it looks like... Oh, more Banshees coming in. My goodness. And here come all the SCVs. And Molaris is in this... Oh no, it's going to be base trade. But he's not doing anything. Oh my goodness. He must be trying to micro something down here. Now they're attacking. And Morris is lifting off. What in the world is happening right here? I think Tazarenix just needs to, uh... to GG out of this one. I don't think he can... I don't think he can get back. Banshee's killing base. Zealots and Immortals killing base pretty quick, but we have a floating command center here, a floating command center here, and Morris not going to be able to, uh... Making a gateway and not a stargate. At this point, I think I'm making. Uh, I think I'm making a stargate. <laughs> I mean, it's not really close anymore. All these banshees. I don't know, a couple good storms. A couple good storms. Oh no. oh, cannons, okay. I thought they was I thought he had changed this into Archons. I was like, no, you need the storms. <laughs> I don't even think does he even know about the third? He must not even know. Oh he does yeah, he doesn't even know about the third. He's gonna kill these pylons and he thinks this is gonna be the end. Love to see a nice big fat storm. Yes! Yes! Kills all the SCVs. Feedback. Oh, come on, back up. Give it the cannons. Come on. Oh. <laughs> that was so awesome. And look, he's still mining completely off this base. He's fine. Xeranix is going to win. Oh my goodness. Because he can't do anything. He's going to have to change you out of this. Uh, it's a crazy ending. <laughs> crazy ending to this game right here. I think uh, he just needs to... He does have one SCV. But look at all this money he has. He's got a ton of money. He's going to be able to build stuff if he wants. He needs a Stargate. That's what Zaranix needs. It's a Stargate. There's the scan. Mules coming down to repair. Can they repair the SCV? <laughs> and they are repairing the SCV. That's awesome. <laughs> That's funny. And here come the Zealots and the Immortals. Which is not really what you want, except to attack these buildings. There's cannons going down. But they're not going to be able to finish before the Banshees get to them. But there are stalkers here. There's enough stalkers to kill these guys. But one feedback, one feedback is going to be good enough. Did he lose his observers? Where are the observers? Very close, another mule in to heal. I 
I want to see a feedback. I don't know, maybe it's not worth it. There's the observer. Link up. Bam! And that's going to be the end. GG, well played. <laughs> I'm Morris. Out of here. Holy crap. Exciting way to end the game. I thought... I'm surprised that it went there. I thought uh, and Mulris was going to take it, but good job to Serenix, man. Way to, way to go, bruh. Alright, guys. Keep climbing that ladder. Peace!